Hi, my name is Geneva Sambor, and today I'm going to try to keep this under five minutes and talk to you about a project called Books in Common in Plymouth, New Hampshire. So this project targets students in our school community grades six through eight. So the rising sixth, seventh, and eighth graders for this year, the fall of 2021. Um, and the goal of this project is to expand their literature that they can get their hands on at home and to give a lot of kids, all kids in the school, specifically the middle school, um, to build their own personal libraries of um, different uh, sets of books at home over the course of their time in our middle school. Now you might be asking, why wouldn't we just encourage them to use the library? And the library is still a space that I want to support, our school library, our public library, but many of our middle schoolers don't take a lot of time or can't take a lot of time to actually visit and browse our library um, and utilize it as much. So my hope with this project is if we can, as a community, build their home libraries and give kids books that are, they can call their very own, that uh, they will use more public spaces and resources to access literature throughout their entire lives. You know, everyone has uh, or remembers a beloved book or a couple of beloved books from their childhood. And that may not be a book that you have read for class in school. So it's important that we foster kids' independent reading lives just as much as their academic reading lives, you know, um, and encourage them to be able to choose. Now, the basis of this project um, is a book list that I compile using recommended list from the American Library Association, the ALA book lists that are published every year, and to try to reach for diverse, current, and high interest stories. That's not to say that we are leaving all classic literature out, but that is not the goal of this particular project, because we do read quite a lot of classical literature already in school. We want to get more stories out there for kids to read, and we want kids to um, really engage in you know, what's currently going on in the story world, in fiction, and in middle grade literature. So a couple of things have changed this year. Last year, when I launched this project, um, we were able to, as a community, raise the money in nine days. I'm launching it a little bit later this year, and I think more folks are going on vacation or you know, doing other things to enjoy their summer that they couldn't enjoy last year, which is wonderful. Um, and I'm looking to raise about $2,000 by September at the very latest. I've given us a little bit of a buffer. My hope, though, is to have the money raised toward the end of July and be able to pass out the books in early August. So last year when I compiled the book list, I sort of did some guesswork with the inventory and uh, then gave kids their first, second or third choice book. And that was that was a good goal to have last year. But this year, the goal is to give all kids their first choice book. So I delivered the list to them. I said, here are the 55 titles that you can choose from this year. And can you choose your first, second and third choice book? And they did and I'm hoping to be able to order those. The project is on a donors choose page. I would eventually like to um, support this project through a grant, but for right now, we're looking for community members to uh, donate and or share what the project is about with others in conversation or on their social media. And I also have a link for all of the project resources. So um, I have this page here that supports the project. Um, and this is the what the donors page looks like. It has my full explanation of what the project is about. Um, and it really does show you the complete list of books. Now I also have a Wakelet page that, um, that shows you a little bit more of the book choices. Let me try to, you know, share and present that page to you as well. And so on the Wakelet page, you see this first link is the donors choose page. Um, and the second link is the book preview that students had access to, which is pretty cool. And I'll show you that in a moment. And then we have the inventory sheet, which keeps track of the books um, and is how I actually compile the shopping list for the donors choose page. It's quite a process. And so we can see some of the books right here 
There are so many, some of them, very few of them are graphic novels. I do support the graphic novels um, are important to read, but many of them really explore different stories here. Um, emotive stories, some of them are written in verse, some of them are written in prose, right? But you can see that there are tons of different titles covering a span of subject matter. Um, and you can also preview some of the beginning three pages of each book. So if you want to see what the author's writing looks like in a brief description of the book, um, then that's on here too. So I really want this to be a project that all community members are involved in and supporting. And I would like this project to really push students um, to build their own libraries, to fall in love with literature, and then to go to the library more often. If they find a book that they really love, can they search for more books for themselves? And can they understand more about themselves as readers? So I would love it if you could share this video with this explanation. And I would love it if you could share the fundraising page. We've had a few awesome donations so far. So thank you to those of you who've donated. Um, and those of you who have shared, you've really made a difference and an impact. And one last thing is uh, we do have a family that is supporting the project on Donors Choose and matching every single donation um, that is made. For instance, if you make a $50 donation, then the project will receive $100 um, automatically, which is pretty cool and it speeds up the process. So be thinking about that, every bit counts, and I hope that you are having a great start to your summer so far. Thank you.